The sun's out today. It's like the first time in weeks. So my plan for the bed, if you haven't already guessed from the title of this video, is to try to build a Murphy bed inside this Nissan NV200. And I've definitely seen Murphy beds installed on some bigger vans, uh, Promasters, high top Promasters, things like that. But I don't know if I've ever seen it before on a compact cargo van, essentially like a minivan, like this one is here. Okay, so we just fast forwarded a few days there and as I'm shooting this clip now, the bed is done. My plan for this video, let's just backtrack. I'm going to talk about my steps and what I did to build the Murphy bed and then go over why I chose to go with the Murphy bed instead of something else. It, it was successful. I did build the bed. I'm sure you can see part of it up behind me in the, in the shot here, in the frame here. And as I was building it, I was trying to like film different parts and say, oh, this is my plan now. This is what I'm trying to do now. But the process was very much so trial and error for me and I would be talking about things in the you know in the video and then I would go to do them and it would end up being a little bit different and I would have to just say to the camera oh wait actually I did this instead because I was kind of just trying things out and seeing what worked I had a general concept in my mind but I didn't really know how it was going to actually manifest itself when I built the bed and put everything together but overall like I said it's, it was definitely a success so let's talk a little bit about what I did to build the Murphy bed so the first step in the process was figuring out what size bed I was going to be able to fit in this minivan here and I decided to go with just a standard twin size mattress I thought that that was going to be enough space it's quite a bit bigger than what I have in the element right now at least four inches or so bigger than what I have in there so it gives me a little more space to spread out and I would be able to get a standard memory foam mattress which was a big reason why I wanted to go with a Murphy bed I wanted to be able to have a real mattress a more comfortable memory foam mattress so I decided to make the dimensions of the plywood that I used for the bed I mean essentially the I guess the base of the bed I guess you would call it I used a 75 inch by 39 inch piece of plywood it was a nice piece I, I spent a little bit more money on it because I didn't want it to be bowed or anything like that and decided to use that as the base once I figured out the size of the bed that I wanted to go with I had to start building the support system and one of my main goals for the support system was to actually have the bed lifted off the ground a little bit so that I could maintain some of the storage space along the side of the bed while it was up in Murphy mode I guess we'll just call it Murphy mode I don't know what to call it when it's up against the wall but when it's up against the wall there I wanted to have a little bit of space underneath it and be able to put a couple of storage bins under there so they were mostly out of the way of the open floor space obviously a big reason for making a Murphy bed is so that you have that open floor space in the middle to use which I'm going to use for a desk setup I'll get into that a little bit later in this video here but the um the goal was to also maintain a little bit of storage space so that I could put a couple of bins under there and so on. In terms of building the support system, obviously the most important legs are the ones that are up against the wall here that have the actual Murphy bed mechanism attached to them. I didn't go with a true official Murphy bed mechanism. They do make those. They have shocks and all these crazy things to make it easier to lift and they're also really expensive. So I decided to skip that and to use a swivel seat mechanism instead. I bought a couple of uh, marine swivel seats off of Amazon they were about 15 or 20 dollars or so very cheap and they do the job absolutely perfectly they also don't take up a lot of space and I really don't have a lot of space between the uh, between the pa you know back of the driver's seat and the in the back wall here I have to maximize every amount of space that I could so that I could fit a full twin size mattress in there and I was able to do that just barely I was able to bolt the swivel seat mechanism into a couple of pieces of 2 by 10 wood that I used for the support so there's two supports on either side and then I almost made them in like an L shape to kind of give a little bit more support I guess you could say and then on the other side of the swivel seat mechanism is the actual bottom frame I guess you could say of the bed I didn't you I didn't put a frame all the way around the bed or anything like that I just used it for the bottom half so that I could keep the mattress in place I didn't want it to fall every time that I put the bed up into Murphy mode as we're gonna call it so I, I, I was able to use just a couple other pieces of 2 by 10 wood there and bolt in the uh, the back side of the swivel seat into that on both sides and then for the bottom of the bed Bed, I use the piece of two by four cut to the exact length of the bed and that's what keeps the mattress in place. It works. 
I used a heavy duty gate lash secured to the rear support of the Murphy bed in order to keep it in the up position here. And then for the middle supports, I decided to uh, build almost like a barricade, which primarily is designed to keep the storage bins that I have underneath it in place, but also to act as a support for the bed itself. So I used two by fours that I cut. The, uh, the floor of the NV200 is not perfectly level, so I did have to cut them to different sizes in order to make the bed level. And that was a little bit of a process constantly, you know, cutting them. And I definitely made some mistakes and had to recut two by four a couple of times. But in the end, it worked out. It does provide a nice support for the middle of the bed. And then the support on the passenger side is primarily based on a two by six piece of wood that I cut and put together here. And that's also going to act as the eventual support for the cabinet system that I designed that goes up against this wall on my right here. And then in the front passenger side of the bed, I have a folding, uh, a folding piece of wood that I used also a two by six piece of wood that folds out and I put it on a hinge with some Velcro and it kind of keeps it in place when it's not being used. Overall, it really wasn't that difficult to put this together. It took me a few days and there were definitely a few challenges. I was working mostly on my own. So like lifting it and carrying it back and forth and like holding it in the right position when I was trying to, uh, when I was trying to figure out if it was level or not was a little bit of a, a little bit of a struggle. Getting the Murphy bed mechanism, the actual swivel seats bolted into place was also kind of hard to do because I only have two hands and sometimes you need like four hands. You feel like you need four or five hands to do something like this, but Overall, I'm really happy with it, guys, and I, I painted the bottom of it white, decided to go with that, just because I think I'm going to paint most of my furniture white as well, and I wanted it to match, and I also just like the idea of having a white wall. I'm probably going to put some pictures up on it and things like that. The thing that I'm most excited about, though, with this Murphy bed here is the desk setup, the table setup that I'm going to build. I already have the table done. It's glossed over in polyurethane. It's ready to go. I'm just waiting for the supports to arrive in the mail. They're a little bit delayed. Today is President's Day and the Postal Service does not ship on President's Day. So they're a couple of days late because of the holiday, but hopefully I'll get them in the next couple of days and I'll be able to share that process with you at the end of this video here. But what I'm going to do is essentially build a full table coming off of this. It's going to be removable. I'm going to use RV table poles. That's what I'm waiting on uh, that are designed specifically for RVs and it's going to build a support table coming right off the Murphy bed, the bottom of the Murphy bed, and then I'll be able to just store it underneath when I'm not using it and then set it back up to have as a desk station or additional cooking space or even to have two people dine at and actually enjoy a meal at. There are a few reasons why I decided to go with the Murphy bed setup instead of the more common futon style beds that you see in small vans, compact cargo vans, things like that that you've been seeing for a long time and, and that I have currently in the element. I have a version of one of those futon beds in the element. And there's a couple of them. And I guess the benefit of a futon style bed is that I would have probably gained a little bit of storage space. By having the Murphy bed, I am sacrificing the amount of space that I have underneath it to put stuff. But at the same time, in the element right now, I have empty storage space. Like there are bins underneath the bed in the element that I don't even have filled up all the way because I don't really have that much stuff. I, I definitely am, am a little bit of a minimalist and I don't really have a lot of things to put in there. So I figured I could sacrifice sacrifice a little bit of storage space for a few benefits that I'm going to talk about right now. And a big reason for it is that I just, for the last three years, I've been sleeping on one of those futon style beds built with these cushions that I got on Amazon, you know, just like a pretty uncomfortable trifold mattress. And for me, I'm a side sleeper. So I, I tend to find myself waking up a lot in the middle of the night and my arm is either asleep or I don't have feeling in my hand or something like that. And I have to toss and turn to get a little bit more comfortable. So a big goal for me in making this this camper setup was to have a bed that was ready to go that was a full-size bed that wasn't gonna have creases in the cushions and I wasn't gonna be like falling into the creases or anything like that I wanted to be able to have something that was a true mattress a true memory foam mattress that I could get a good night's sleep on so that's one of the main reasons also the the setup and the breakdown process for a lot of the different futon style beds that I was looking at didn't look like it was as easy as what I have right now with the Murphy bed I mean it is so easy to set up and break this thing down it literally is a matter of undoing a latch, pulling the leg away from the uh, away from the, the bottom of the bed and then just putting it down and it's good to go. I mean, it takes a matter of seconds to do. It's a little bit more complicated to do it in the element. There are moving parts. A lot of the time things will fall and I'll have to like redo it and retry it over and over again. And it's a little bit of a pain. So I'm looking forward to having something a lot easier to set up and break down. The biggest thing though, like I said, is just having a much more comfortable bed, something that I can get a better night's sleep on. And the other main reason for me going with the Murphy bed setup is to have more open 
floor space. I think that that's going to be really nice. It's going to make the design of the interior of the camper, especially once I get the pop top installed, to be more open and just to be a lot more comfortable. And the biggest benefit, like I said a little bit earlier in this video, is that I'm going to have a full table set up to be able to work at, to be able to eat at. It's going to allow for me to have a lot more usable space, which I'm really excited about, about seeing how it turns out. You know, this is definitely, like I said in a previous video, a little bit experimental. It's a little bit of a weird setup, but I think it's going to work out really well for me and it's going to fit my needs. So the table legs finally arrived in the mail. They were about five days late though. It was definitely quite a bit of a delay but I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's going to work out really well. The only issue is uh, it is it's a little bit too tall. I'm sure you can see it looks a little awkward like having a computer up here would not really work. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to cut the metal so that I can get it a little bit lower. The biggest issue is I just I can't use a regular sized chair because my head will hit the ceiling. So I have to be using a chair that's a little bit lower to the ground and then because of that I have to bring the table a little bit lower to the ground. But that'll all be part of the next video. I'm also going to share some of that process on Instagram as well. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you all in the next video.